uh, the chairman of independent commissions are present, uh, NCIC, uh, Francis Ole Caparo, Aipoa, uh, Masharia Njeru, Inspector General of Police, um, Joseph Boynet. We also have the DCI, Mr. Mohoro Ndegwa, the UNDP representative, uh, Amanda Sermanga, um, Sir Justice Mbogoli, Chairman of Judicial Committee on Elections, uh, Deputy Director of Public Prosecution, uh, Dorka Sodwar, Registrar of Political Parties, Lusindungu, uh, IBC Commissioners present, uh, staff of IBC led by uh, Ezra Chiloba, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, you sound so dull, it's like you didn't have breakfast this morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, it's, I wanted this opportunity to welcome you uh, this morning to the launch of the ESAP program. This is a culmination of long hours of work and efforts which have been put in to make it a uh, success. As a commission, we are ready to give this country a free, fair, and credible election come the 8th of August this year. Free because that's enshrined in the Constitution. Kenyans have a right uh, to stand for elections and to vote. It's a freedom for all of us. Fair, fairness, that's the job of IBC. As an EMB, that is our work to make sure Kenyans get a, a fair election. It's for us to prepare a fair a ground and fair level ground for, for elections to happen. Credible, it's for all of us to say, the observers to say, was it credible? And we can't do this without a peaceful environment, and that's why this ESA program is there. As a country, we are happy to take the lead in this initiative and in collaborating with sister agencies who are present here, uh, Director of Public Prosecution, the Judiciary, the National Police Service, the Attorney General's Office has been very instrumental, UNDP and other partners, uh, thank you very much. This is not a compromise. This is uh, for our country, and we say, look, as IBC, we can't do this alone. And that's why we have to partner with other state and non-state agencies. You will recall that recently concluded Hartford party primaries and the isolated but credible incidents of violence which uh, the IG has mentioned. And uh, we also saw parts of uh, Migori and Bita and other parts of the country where there were small pockets of violence. But I'm happy uh, to, to see and hear from the IG that this was contained and only two fatalities happened in Nairobi. Indeed, as a commission, we are concerned enough to ensure that we take part in establishment of systems that guarantee fairness in the electoral process and also deal firmly and decisively with any threats of violence that may occur. Of course, the mandate of IPC is, uh, arises from the Constitution, which confers on us the role of managing elections. As a commission, it's our duty uh, to do so without people being intimidated with threats or violence or coercion. This particular election, of course, you can see the high stakes and polarization of elect electoral competition right from the primaries. Uh, campaigns are about to start. We're going into the voting period and uh, through to the counting and telling of votes to declaration of winners, there's a potential conflict at any time. And when there's conflict, there's bound to be violence. So between now and August, we have every step is crucial. 
2007, the link between elections and violence was more direct, as, uh, and you can see as, uh, as a country, we went through a moment we don't want to remember. We want to forget it, but it's there in our memories. Based on this history, successful preparations and management of elections requires that the Commission and other stakeholders put in place strategies to ensure security as a key component of election preparedness. And that's why we are here uh, today. However, significantly so, provision of security is a constitutional mandate of the police service, and it's against this background that ESA program was put up with the invaluable assistance of the UNDP. In the past, the commission was unfortunate to belatedly engage the security teams during deployment of polling day only. That is, uh, police used to come in just before the polling day. And therefore, there was a missing link between election security and election management. And uh, I think the previous uh, speakers have spoken. That's why ESAP came up. And uh, this is an initiative which uh, we all must embrace. The overall objective of this project was to undertake election coordination and a framework for managing the security aspects of the 2013 elections. This resulted in successful collaboration between the police and IBC and other stakeholders and delivered a positive out outcome through peaceful elections and greater partnership between the two agencies. As a commission, in preparing for the coming elections, we have prepared the election operation plan that's between 2015 and 2017, which continues to be revised variously. And this EOP has identified election security as a key pillar towards delivering free, fair, and credible elections uh, this year. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the objectives of ESAP is to undertake election security coordination and a framework for managing the security aspects of the 2017 general election. Specifically, the project seeks to achieve the following. One, uh, uh, cooperation between the public, police, IBC, and other independent commissions in promoting and ensuring security of the campaign periods through best practices in, neg in negotiated public order management. Two, investigations and prosecutions of election offenders in Kenya. Uh, three, a joint election risk assessment and response center. That's promoting joint election risk assessment and response to, to these risk factors. Lastly, to facilitate public participation in promoting election security in Kenya through monitoring and uh, reporting. In developing this program, the Commission is minded to identify key result areas which include, which we envisage will include the following. One, coordinated response to election security threats. Two, detailed joint security plans between IBC, police, and stakeholders at the national, county, and local levels. Uh, then we expect increased accountability by both IBC and security sector agencies in responding to these election threats. We also expect a reduced reduction in cases of gender-based violence and a reduction in the number of violent incidents in this year as compared to uh, 2013. As a commission, we have, and uh, through these joint initiatives, we have developed literature and publications to facilitate realization of the projected targets, which, has, uh, which will be similarly used during trainings and this include the review handbook for security personnel, review police roll card, and we also developed a guide for investigation and prosecution for election offenses. There's developed a procedure guideline on trial process of the court, and also a manual for IBC staff and police officers. And there's also the, the tra training of trainers of IBC and uh, police. 
We are happy to confirm that we have secured a multi-sectoral participation of various concerned agencies and appointed a technical committee comprising of IBC, National Police Service, uh, Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions, uh, UNDP. Uh, there's also OEANO platform, OEANO Secretariat, National Steering Committee on Peace Building and Conflict Management, IPOA, and Office of the Registrar of Political Parties. We look forward to the commencement of the national training of trainers, county sensitization programs, county trainings, and constituency trainings. This program is part of the Commission's effort towards prevention and mitigation against the risk of insecurity. The Commission was able to engage with the police under uh, this ESA program. A similar program launched in 2013, which uh, uh, other speakers have spoken about, was faced with uh, challenges which have now been addressed this time round. Uh, the IPC regional administration structures, for example, we have 17, we had 17 regions as IBC, and it was very difficult to coordinate police with these regional offices. But as a commission, and uh, when we came in, we said, let's go county, because that's what the constitution is all about. The country has developed, developed structures, and now we have done away the 17 regions, and we have 47 county election managers who will man the county offices. And that will go very well in sync with the... Well, IABC Chairperson Wafula Chebukate there live at the KICC giving his keynote address as uh, the IEBC launches its security program to run through the election period. But quickly, let's cross over to another live event at the Radisson Blue 